powering our homes, phones, and thankfully televisions is a marvel of technology. Generating electricity has taken many forms throughout the decades. There has been steam, solar, nuclear, wind. Another way to power the world is through water turning a turbine for hydroelectricity. Now, one innovation is proving that the time is ripe to create power in a pipe. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. Water in motion is full of kinetic energy, which can be turned into electrical energy. One place where water is always in motion is inside the pipes of a community's water system, as it makes its way to thousands of homes and businesses. Greg Simler, the CEO of a company called InPipe Energy, developed a way to harness the kinetic energy of water inside the pipes to generate power for public utilities, saving them and their customers money. I headed north to Mount Vernon, Washington to meet up with Greg and the general manager of the Skagit Public Utilities District, George Sidhu, to learn about NPRVs, or pressure recovery valves. George, where exactly are we? This is Judy Reservoir. At Skagit PUD, we have a gravity water system. We use the power of gravity to create pressure within our water system by taking water at a high elevation here and delivering it at a lower elevation to our customers. What's being used in order to harness the energy that can be developed from that pressure? With the innovation of the NPRV system, we can use that technology to recapture some of the energy that's within our water system. I met up with Greg at the Skagit pumping station, where the in-pipe turbine pressure recovery valves are installed. Whoa, so many pipes <laughs> going on right here. Greg, what are we looking at? So we've developed a system that converts running water to electricity in pressurized water pipelines. Instead of wasting it uh, through valves to use a microturbine. Where in this space is the microturbine? So this is the microturbine. So in yellow, you see a microturbine connected to a generator. Water comes up through this pipeline. Okay. Into the microturbine that spins and it spins a generator which is connected to this cabinet, which is connected to the grid. So these valves work like the brakes in your car. Oh. They use a mechanical mechanism to burn off pressure when the water's flowing through it. Besides the Skagit Utilities District, Greg's pressure recovery valves are also installed in Hillsboro, Oregon, powering a local baseball field. And he hopes to be working with other major cities soon. About how much more energy do you think is being harnessed than, than what would typically just be lost? This particular uh, installation will produce enough electricity for 20 or 30 homes, for example, around the clock. One single valve, five or 600 homes in the Oakland Bay Area. So a sustainable future doesn't have to be a pipe dream. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs>